Hi there everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to my channel. Amongst other things, I'm a reenactor and a jouster and today I'm joined by Indy who's going to help uh, me to talk to you about long swords. Now recently, uh, Matt Easton did a video about long swords and why um, hand and a half swords might be used in one hand. And uh, um, one of his main reasons for that, thank you Indy, let's carry on walking. One of his main reasons for that was because you might want to use one on a horse, which is absolutely true. Um, in fact, uh, uh, that's probably one of the main reasons you wouldn't want to have a two-handed sword, is if you're planning on riding a horse. There are a few things you need to think about in regards to this too. Um, one of them is the length of the blade. Now. I'm currently wearing my single-handed sword and although although I am six foot two um, I prefer to wear my single-handed sword than my long sword when I am riding. You got to remember that the scabbard is actually going to be longer than the sword itself so it's going to uh, uh, it's going to be longer when you're wearing it than when you're actually holding it. Another thing that you uh, need to remember when you're uh, wearing a sword is how that affects the environment around you. Now there are loads and loads of different ways that you can attach a sword to yourself, but um, the uh, and the longer the sword, the the um, the more diagonal or even horizontal, the angle might want to be in order to hold it in a way that you can walk. Otherwise, you can only really wear a sword where the blade, uh, or rather the blade in a scabbard, is shorter than your own leg. Let me give you a demonstration. So when you're choosing your weaponry, you need to think um, that actually most of the time you're not fighting with your weaponry. So actually the ability to carry and wear your weapon is as important, uh, sometimes in some ways more important than um, making sure it is the best weapon to fight with. And you can see here, I'm wearing my, uh, uh, my leg armor and my sword. Um, the sword is going straight down with a very simple um, belt that holds it very tight to the side. Okay, this gives uh, maximum control over what the sword is doing because it is so tight into the side and so tight into the armor. You do see some manuscript images showing the sword belt actually going underneath the cuirass, and you also sometimes see swords attached directly to the cuirass. So um, there's there's loads and loads of ways that you can attach a sword to your body but some of them are better for riding than others. Now if you were to have a longer sword than the sword that I have here then you would need to have it attached in a more horizontal way for when you're moving about on foot but this can cause a problem for when you're riding. I want you to think to uh, when you see people, uh, jockeys, um, trying to make their horses go faster. What are they doing with their whip? They're whipping the horse over the back haunch. Um, that makes the horse go faster. Um, however, the faster a horse goes, the less control you have over where it is going. Also, if the uh, sword is horizontal like this, the less control you have over um, the tip of it. The tip is no longer straight down and away from the horse's flank. It is now right by the rear um, haunch of the horse. So that means if you go anywhere above a walk, then it's going to start flapping around and causing problems. Let me just give a couple of examples. This is just really quite a slow trot. You can see this, um, this scabbard construction here with the sword almost straight down, it's still moving about quite a lot. 
I've just slowed it down for you here. You can see it bouncing there, but because of the saddle and the saddle cloth, this is not causing a problem for the horse. Okay, now you could imagine how much more the uh, scabbard will bounce around if you are doing something like a canter or a gallop, and then it will be really whacking the horse on its rear leg if the sword was longer because a longer sword requires a more horizontal position to the scabbard when you are wearing it. Um, so, um, what is the point of this video? Basically, I'm saying when you're thinking about weaponry, which is the best weaponry and things, you've also got to think not just what's the best weapon for usage, but how are you going to wear it? How do people get it from one place to another? Think about it walking, think about it when you're riding, how are you going to use this weapon for, because most of the time when you're, um, when you're using a weapon, you're actually not fighting with it, you're uh, traveling with it or um, having to wear it. Thank you everyone for tuning in and do come back next time. Like, share, subscribe. Back up Indy. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.